you'll, you'll laugh at this. But some of Fahrenheit's dishes mm -hmm. truly come from people's dreams. Wow. So I had a customer, he had a dream. He was like, Lily, why don't you have pork belly chowder? And I told him, I said, I'm gonna try it. If it tastes bad, you gotta buy it. So he had it, he was like, oh my gosh, you gotta put this on the menu. My reason for going to, you know, the Fahrenheit Asian is just to really preserve my parents' cooking. And they've done such one all their life. When you were younger and your parents had a restaurant, did you dream about being in this world or did you want to get away from it at first? I think at first I just never imagined mm -hmm. I would do this. Mm -hmm. But later on, especially when parents started talking about retirement, when they said that, it, it really made me feel like, no, <laughs> I, I gotta do something. Your pot stickers are the first thing on your menu that I fell in love with. Let's talk a little bit about what's wrong with most pot stickers. It's like only in America. That they, they do it by six. It's almost like we're doing it the culture of faux pas. Yeah. Like we just say six because we want to do it in an appetizer. Right. But like nobody does six in Asia. Perfect pot stickers. My favorite pot stickers. Yeah. It's mm. The other dish specifically I want to talk about is uh, mapo tofu. Tell us about that dish and your relationship with it. That's like a dear to heart dish. My mom, she's the one who's always cooked that for me. I always thought when she cooked mapo tofu, she was lazy. Right. Because that was like my impression. It's like tofu and meat. Like how hard can it be, right? Actually, it's like one of the hardest things to cook in Central cooking. Like I now know how valuable that is. Who's your favorite person to cook for? Or if there's a person that you'd like to cook for? If I really want to cook, I want my grandma, even though she's dead. I never got a chance to cook for her because of COVID. She never really got to see like what I really became. She died in China? She died in China, yeah. That's like one of my biggest regrets too, is not be able to see her and not be able to like show her what I've done. But I don't know, like maybe in like dream world. Yeah, right. She'll come back <laughs> and see me one of these days <laughs> in my dream.